The thing about conspiracies is you can never quite tell which ones are real at the time, but every year gets us a little closer to the truth. We've collected some of the most unbelievable conspiracies that governments lied about and were later exposed, from Russian spies at the highest level of British intelligence to an undercover French operation that ended with a civilian dead. I'm Mike with List25, and come join me as we count down 25 mind-blowing historical conspiracies that turned out to be true. 25. Whaling Conspiracy For years, rumors and accusations from human rights groups claimed that Japan was illegally overfishing mink, fin, and humpback whales. As far back as the early 20th century, the international community has made agreements to limit the amount of whales caught each year. For decades, Japan claimed that it was catching whales for scientific purposes. An investigation found that some countries had been secretly paid off by Japan to support its whaling activities. A decision by the International Court of Justice in 2014 found that Japan's whaling was not for research purposes and tried to ban Japan from continuing, which it ignored. 24. The Cambridge Five During the Second World War, tensions were at an all-time high. And even though the Allies, made up of the US, UK, and Soviet Union, were working together, it didn't mean they trusted one another. That's why the Soviet Union infiltrated the British intelligence system through a program known as the Cambridge Five. Each spy made their way to some of the highest levels of British power in the Foreign Office. After the war ended, they defected to the Soviet Union, having completed their missions. 23. King Cora Boys Home in the Northern Ireland capital of Belfast, a horrifying conspiracy carried out for decades that may have gone all the way to the top. It revolved around the Kinkora Boys Home, where allegations were first made in the late 70s that young boys had been inappropriately touched and taken advantage of. However, there were also accusations that had been a government cover-up. One of the named perpetrators was a far-right activist, William McGrath, who some claimed had ties to the British MI5. In a court case taken to the High Court decades later, MI5 refused to produce documents or testify, leaving many questions unanswered. 22. Magdalene Laundries Women who were outcasts of Irish society in the 18th century were punished with a sentence to Magdalene Laundries. This was a system of houses run by Catholic organizations to reform women, but instead they were used to manipulate and create forced labor. The brutal conditions went on until social pressure mounted and reached a breaking point when a mass grave full of over 150 women was found in Dublin. The last Magdalene Laundry was closed in 1996. 21. The Canadian Airborne Regiment Somalia Affair As Somalia was gripped by economic and armed conflict in the 90s, the UN dispatched peacekeepers from several countries to help prevent the situation from getting any worse. However, the very people entrusted to keep the peace ended up committing atrocious acts themselves. When two Canadian soldiers from the Canadian Airborne Regiment fatally attacked a teen and the evidence made its way to the public, it caused an international scandal. The crime was only revealed by a newspaper article and an investigation years later found out that the government had tried to cover up the incident. 20. Operation Mongoose The Cold War wasn't only fought against the Soviet Union. The U.S. was also keeping a close eye on Cuba and doing anything it could to bring down Fidel Castro's leadership. Operation Mongoose was created under the Kennedy administration with this goal in mind. It used counterinsurgency, social pressure, and even working with the Mafia. There were also reportedly over 600 assassination attempts on Castro in the years following. One with an exploding cigar, and another by planting 200 pounds of explosives underneath the stage. None of these worked and Operation Mongoose was quietly disbanded, having failed. Meanwhile, Castro lived until the age of 90, dying in 2016. 19. The Dirty War All wars are brutal and messy. However, what happened in Argentina throughout the 70s and 80s took things to a new level. It was driven by the military dictatorship's desire to snuff out any opposition. The best way to do that was to target any left-wing groups or individuals. It took years for the full extent of the crimes to be revealed. Up to 30,000 people lost their lives and children were even stolen from homes. 18. Mexican Drug Cartels In most TV shows and movies, countries like Mexico are depicted as hotspots for the drug trade. That's mainly true. 
especially for traffic going into the US. But is it really controlled by the notorious cartels? Traffickers have had close relationships with officials and American intelligence, like the CIA, going back more than half a century. Some researchers argue that these cartels are so embedded into corrupt governments that there is no difference between the Mexican state and the cartels. 17. The Hollywood Blacklist As we've seen, the Cold War was a time of intense paranoia and secrecy. One of the lesser known aspects was Hollywood creating a secret blacklist. At least 300 writers, actors, and directors who were either connected to or suspected of being communists were put on this list and effectively banned from working in the industry. This was all part of a reaction to the Red Scare, the fear that left-wing political movements would take hold in the country. Who the hell could you trust back then? But do you know what hasn't been blacklisted? That's right, List 25 merch, like this awesome shirt I'm wearing. What a segue. And guess what? You can win one for yourself because we're giving away two shirts this coming Friday. All you have to do is subscribe, turn on your notifications, and comment where you're from, and then we'll just pick two random winners and that's it. You've won. Unless you're not one of those two random winners, in that case, you can still go down there into the description and buy some merch. If you don't win, still, Mother's Day is coming up. My birthday is coming up. <laughs> but let's celebrate that. It's Victoria Day in, in other countries. So in Canada, for sure. You can celebrate my birthday. Anyway, um, yeah. So good luck. But if you don't win, you could still... These are not the only two shirts we have. I promise you, we have others. So you're more than welcome to go and purchase some for your friends, family, or yourself. So anyway, back to the list. 16. The U.S. government poisoned alcohol. Between 1920 and 1933, the U.S. government banned the sale of alcohol to clean up society. However, this prohibition led to problems of its own. Most of all, the underground bootlegging economy created a huge revenue stream for illegal groups like the Mafia. For drinkers themselves, it could be dangerous, with around 1,000 people dying every year from tainted liquor. Some believed that it was the government poisoning alcohol themselves. In 1932, in the final year of Prohibition, the government admitted to adding toxic ingredients to the alcohol that was still allowed for industrial purposes, but they claimed that this wasn't linked to any deaths. 15. Russian-backed coup attempt In 2016, the Montenegro government was almost shaken up in a drastic way. If police hadn't intervened, then the prime minister would have been assassinated and a new administration swooped in to take its place. Three years later, after an investigation in the court trial, a judge found that two opposition leaders had collaborated with Russia. Russian leaders continued to deny the allegations, however the evidence says otherwise. Hundreds of thousands of dollars were transferred from the Russian Secret Service to buy weapons for the coup. 14. The Chernobyl Disaster Cover-Up Classified documents recently released to the public have revealed that the Soviet Union knew how dangerous the Chernobyl nuclear reactor was years before its meltdown. In 1982, four years before the disaster, a radiation leak was reported at the plant. The Secret Service quickly arrived to keep the information from getting out. The following year, a report found that Chernobyl was the most dangerous in the country. Even a year after the disaster, a special operation swapped samples collected by an international journalist to cover up the true effects. In the end, the numbers were irrefutable. 31 deaths came quickly, while thousands died in the years to come from extreme radiation poisoning. 13. The Meneriads When a regime has its back up against the wall, it resorts to any means necessary to keep power. In Romania in 1990, that power came not through the military or police, but the people themselves. The president ordered thousands of miners to storm the capital city of Bucharest and eliminate anyone opposing the government. Mining groups had been infiltrated by secret police and directed to head to Bucharest to neutralize protesters against the ruling party. The event is remembered as the Maniriad and sent shockwaves through Romanian society. More than three decades later, survivors are still struggling to find justice. 12. Casa Pia In 2002, Portugal was horrified to learn that a public institution had, for years, committed unspeakable crimes against the children it swore to protect. The scandal surrounded Casa Pia, a network of schools set up to help thousands of young people whose parents are unable or unwilling to care for them. 
The first allegations came in 1981, but ended without consequence. The second round of accusations led to a breakthrough. According to a lawsuit, not only were children being mistreated, but some of the country's most famous names, including politicians and celebrities, had participated in exploiting around 100 boys. Eventually, 56 people were sentenced to prison for their involvement, though many claim the conspiracy went much deeper. 11. Colonel's Coup When a man named Yorios Papandreou was elected prime minister in 1964, his government was seen as too radical and dismissed by the great King Constantine II. But with new elections set for 1967, some didn't want to take the chance of losing to left-wing groups. A few weeks before the elections were set to take place, right-wing army leaders took power in Athens, arresting politicians and thousands who might oppose. The king quickly approved of the new military regime. In the end, though, the king, along with his descendants, would regret that move. When the military regime collapsed, the people voted to abolish the monarchy in 1973. 10. GAL Grupos Antiterroristas de Liberación Spain, too, has a bloody history of suppressing movements that threaten the status quo. Between 1983 and 1987, their target was a Basque separatist group called the ETA. In the space of just four years, almost 30 ETA members were assassinated, while many more were kidnapped, intimidated, and even tortured. 9. Katyn Massacre Germany wasn't all that Poland had to worry about during World War II. The Soviet Union moved in to control the eastern part of the country, wasting no time putting thousands of Polish military leaders and soldiers in prison. At least, that's what Polish representatives were told. The Soviets then claimed that the prisoners had somehow escaped and gone missing. It was only in 1943 when the truth was uncovered. German forces stumbled upon gigantic mass graves in a forest called Katyn. When all the bodies were counted, there were over 4,400. The Soviets didn't admit to what they did until the 80s. 8. Anschluss The Treaty of Versailles was an agreement made between Germany and the Allied powers after World War I. It forced Germany to take all responsibility for the conflict, pay reparations, give up territory, and radically decrease its military to make it harder for another large-scale conflict. With the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, Germany ignored all these conditions and invaded Austria in 1938. Speaking after troops had already moved into Austria to finalize the annexation, Hitler said that he knew it was his destiny to bring Germany back to the Great German Reich. 7. Rainbow Warrior Sinking Greenpeace is the most famous environmental activism group on the planet. With this power comes a lot of enemies, including companies, individuals, and even governments. When one of Greenpeace's ships, the Rainbow Warrior, was sunk at a dock in New Zealand in 1985, the French were suspected. Rainbow Warrior was part of a group of vessels protecting against French nuclear testing in the Pacific. Two French agents had planted explosives that sank the boat, and one volunteer photographer was killed in the attack. France claimed that there was no connection between the bombing and their secret service, but months later, the French Prime Minister owned up to it. 6. Zinoviev Letter If you thought the 2020 US election was contentious, well, wait till you hear about 1924 in the UK. It started when the Daily Mail published a letter that was allegedly written by Grigory Zinoviev, a Russian leader of the Communist International Organization. The letter urged communists in Britain to ready themselves for an imminent revolution and was released just four days before an election. And it worked. The Conservative Party won more than 13.3% more of the vote than the Labour Party. It's now agreed that the Zinoviev letter was a forgery used effectively to sway the public. 5. Swedish Nuclear Weapons Program In the 50s, Sweden wanted to give itself some insurance against the Russians. And what's better than developing nuclear weapons? Sweden undertook a secret program over a period of 17 years to develop tactical nuclear weapons, and had almost finished by 1965 when the government decided against it. Part of this was because of the signing of the Non-Proliferation Treaty, an international agreement designed to reduce the number of nuclear weapons in the world. 4. Norwegian Heavy Water Sabotage When the Allies were trying to blunt Germany's attack during World War II, they went after one of its most precious resources, water. 
That made the small Norwegian town of Ryuken a battleground, where a huge hydroelectric power plant was supplying Germany with heavy water for research into nuclear bombs. Several operations had failed to sabotage the plant, until Operation Gunnerside, where a group of six Norwegian commandos snuck into the facility's basement, installed explosives, and evaded the Germans by skiing all the way down the mountain to Sweden. The explosion destroyed more than 1,000 pounds of heavy water, landing a huge blow against the Germans. 3. Tully Air Base Incident In 1968, a B-52 bomber crashed into ice just off the coast of Greenland, near the American air base of Tully. Most of the crew were able to eject safely before landing, but the Danish government was furious about the incident. The bomber was carrying nuclear warheads, which were banned in Denmark. American leadership quickly assured their Danish partners that the bombs were unarmed and therefore safe. But later it was discovered that this wasn't exactly true. One of the warheads had even broken open and spilled radioactive substances. It was a miracle that it hadn't detonated. 2. Tlatelolco Massacre In 1968, all eyes were on Mexico for the Summer Olympics. Tensions were high, especially because student groups had been protesting against the government. Police were eager to clear the way, and did so by brutally cracking down on activists. Governments initially claimed that four people had died. However, independent investigations have estimated that this number was actually closer to 400. Not only that, but the students had been unarmed and hadn't even provoked the police. Instead, classified documents exposed a plot involving the Presidential Guard, which used snipers to shoot at police and provoke a reaction against the students. One. The Canadian Residential School System Canadian public policy towards Indigenous people has been a centuries-long conflict. Beginning in the 1880s, the government opened schools to assimilate them into Canadian society. This meant banning local languages and customs and being subject to routine mistreatment. At the time, these policies were claimed as a progressive way to assist Indigenous people to achieve an education. However, it was later described as cultural genocide. In 2021, 751 unmarked graves of children were found at one of these schools. So, what's a conspiracy theory that you believed in that turned out to be true? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, check out our social medias, join our little shirt contest, it ends soon. Uh, also, check out my personal social medias, links in the description below. And now, I know conspiracy theories are gripping, but there's nothing stranger than the vast expanse of space. The big rip energy theory states that the universe is going to begin shredding itself apart at some point. Or, you know what, what about the death of the sun when it burns up and possibly creates a black hole? Well, if you want some universe theories to keep you up at night, click here. Check it out. We'll, we'll watch this together. We'll go from one theory to another. I'll meet you over there. Let's go.